conceptual people talk about all of the elements. address this this ongoing saga with Kyrie uh Kanye sort of taken a back bench because of Kyrie's uh, resilience or refusal to bow down we don't know where it's going to go from here he uh had a press conference and the press conference was supposed to be about him apologizing and saying he's sorry for being anti-Semitic and he did everything but uh, he said it's unfortunate that some of the things in the movie is untrue uh, and you know that's without question that um, but the thing is with any piece the goal is to be able to go in there old folks used to say hey take the meat and spit out the bones you have to be willing now the thing is you can do that with any other piece but when it comes to this particular issue it cannot be anything resembling something out of place of what is deemed to be acceptable. But that's not why I'm here. Why I'm here is I want to shout out to my boy, J. Will, Jason Williams, who I have called out in the past for not towing the line. And while he's still being somewhat politically correct, he is pointing out something that I have already pointed out. And that is, while everybody is bringing major smoke for Kyrie, they, um, while people are bringing major smoke for Kyrie, what is happening is Amazon is promoting and making mad loot off of it because now it's the number one selling book and it's the number one most searched documentary, whether it's even on there or not anymore. But they are getting a lot of attention based off of this and nobody's calling out Amazon. Nobody's calling out Jeff Bezos. And while Jay Will is doing this, uh, Molly Karam, um, we already know. Uh, complexion decides to double down on Kyrie and he needs to be punished well number one is he has been punished he's been suspended for a minimum of five games with this long list of demands that he has to fulfill before he can be reinstated whether that's going to ever happen or not is uncertain there is uh, some reports that he's considering retirement. I don't know how true that is because I haven't been able to find anything reputable to support that. But uh, her thing is now, now what you've got to be very careful at is that's nothing more dangerous than a white woman weaponizing her whiteness. And while it's not so much aimed at her, it's her misframing what has taken place and how many people will simply take it because it was said in the media, the very same thing they're uh, challenging and accusing Kyrie of, she does. And that is she accuses him of promoting ideologies from Hitler. You'll get to see uh, a brief segment right after this. I'm going to show it to you. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to close it out with a short commentary. But check out what she does. Now, it's very short and it's a very, you know, short statement but she puts it out there and that one time did he do that so check this out then i'm going to be back to close this out there deserves to be more context there from Kyrie. i think where Kyrie lost a lot of people is the unwillingness to go to the podium and expound upon the points that he learned from watching this. It is irresponsible I agree with you, Molly. to amplify I agree. messages from Hitler. I agree. Ever on any, right. on, so, so, on any and, and that's not, I just, I just want to make that no, clear. I, and you didn't allude to that, but, but ever, under any circumstance. Yes. Yeah. Things in the film I disagree with. The curiosity nature of it is interesting. But I will say this. Where is that same attention and energy for the platform that is promoting it and profiting off. I talk around Jeff Bezos and Amazon. 
I don't, I don't hear anybody talking about that. I hear everybody skewing their anger towards Kyrie for taking a picture of it and tweeting about it. Now, it's irresponsible, even if you have curiosity, it is irresponsible I agree with you, Molly. to amplify I agree. messages from Hitler I agree. ever on any, right. on, so, so, on any and, and that's not, I just, I just want to make that no, clear. I, and you didn't allude to that, but, but ever under any circumstance. Yes, yeah, so why is it on a major sure. platform? Why is the major platform amplifying it? Kyrie amplifying it. Okay. Now that you've seen it and you can see exactly what I'm talking about, there are a lot of people that will take that at heart. Just like they want to say that Kyrie posting the link to that documentary would suggest that he's endorsing everything in it. When some people are listening to what she's saying, they're not going to go back and watch the interview. They're not going to look into it to see if that's really what he did they're just going to take it and run with it she's putting a blot on him that he did not deserve he posted it he admitted he had posted it he acknowledged that there are some untruths uh some inaccuracies and hostilities within it uh but he's challenging people to look at the deeper issue and question some of the issues brought up and be willing to have some debate and discussion and see that's the thing that everybody's getting away from is very rarely are you going to come into a piece of content and i've studied some of the greats i've read some of the greats uh and i've authored quite a bit of myself i'm never expecting someone to read uh what i've written in any of my books in any of my uh scholarly papers in any of my articles uh, i'm not expecting them to watch lectures uh, that I've given. I'm not expecting them to look at the thousands of videos that I've done and sit up and say, man, everything that this dude said is on, says is on point. This dude is absolutely unbelievably on point. What I'm expecting is to challenge people to think. What I'm expecting is to make people sit up, even who disagree with me, go look for valid reasons for their disagreement, to be able to sit up and um, from an educated perspective not talking about academia i'm talking about an informed perspective be able to sit up and say this is why i don't agree with him because xyzz and i've had some people come on and they've been able to present their uh forms of disagreement in some instances they've they've pointed out something that i had to acknowledge in other instances we agree to disagree and i see your point and it's not that your point is invalid it's that i'm taking a position based on my perspective and all of that is good but what happens when you sit up and you silence someone when you sit up and say because we can find this inaccuracy we're going to sit down and shut down the entire thing then you sit up and say that's a part of a, a discussion we don't get to have that's a part of a discussion we don't have to sit up and debate we don't have to sit up and discuss we don't have to sit up and reason with and that's one of the problems that we have as a people is we don't have enough people reasoning we don't have enough people challenging we don't have enough people looking and saying wait a minute something's going on here my big issue with the whole thing right here is first of all again i want to say thanks to Jay Will for sitting up and, and, and coming out and saying, okay, yeah, uh, there are some things Kyrie has admitted he needs to deal with and that, and I agree with Jay Will on this, because Kyrie never framed it and he never really came out and put it in the proper framing, uh, he opened himself up, but again, that's his right to do so. Now, obviously, that smoke that comes with that. Uh, I'm a person on the other end of the spectrum. I'm going to tell you what I feel like is right and then i'm going to give you in great detail why i feel it's right now if you want to take it and run with it then and make it be something that's not if you want to take it and use that to attack me that's fine but i'm gonna make sure you understand what i don't want to be misunderstood now there are certain people i really don't care about whether they misunderstand me because their intent is to misunderstand me i'm talking about people who are really looking for answers people who are really trying to understand what you're saying on both sides of the spectrum need to have a clearness Kyrie didn't do that uh Kyrie has his reasons and and he's standing on something else he don't he, he doesn't like the fact that he's being pushed to explain himself so in the act of not explaining himself he's leaving other people to determine and interpret what he's trying to do and what he's trying to say and you got other people spinning it to make it seem like he's trying to do something that he never was trying to do. Then you have people like Miley Karam who are sitting up and actually accusing him of something he never did. He never stood up and promoted anything that Hitler said. He never even brought up Hitler. He never brought up any of the points or the tropes that may be 
along the lines of some type of philosophy that Hitler had that may be in the documentary. What he did is sit up and posted a documentary. He didn't put any content, context or framing around it. And then when challenged on it, he sit up and said, I just shared a link. And then when asked to come out and finally uh, explain himself, all he sit up and said is, unfortunately, that there are some unfortunate truths. I mean, some unfortunately, there are some untruths in it. There are some inaccuracies in it. Okay. Now, now, beyond that, you know, another thing he set up and said when they wanted him to come out and straight up say, I'm not anti-Semitic, he says, you know, basically, I've read the Oxford Dictionary. What he's saying is, I, I've read the definition, and thereby understanding the definition, it's impossible for me to be anti-Semitic. Uh, what he's alluding to is by the very definition in the Oxford de definition, we're talking about an Afro-Asiatic people then he believes in in his mind that he is a Semite. Well, then he can't be anti-Semitic in his definition. And so then that, that enraged them more. They didn't like that. They wanted him to break. They wanted him to sit up and say, I'm sorry, I was horrible. Uh, please forgive me. Please take me back. And they can't get that from him. Now, we got to understand, this really goes back to the unapologetic refusal to not get that, that jab. And so now it's going to be every chance we get, we're coming for you. And you just happen to tick off the wrong group of people. Right after Kanye <laughs> set them off. So, yeah, you got all kind of things going on. But my whole thing is pay attention to that. Uh, Malik Andrews and uh, Miley Karam have a habit of doing that. Be very careful and watch what happens. It's those little slight little statements that plant seeds that nobody, you know, either either people sit up and say, oh, man, nobody, or they sit up and say, yeah, or whatever, but it's a seed planted. You got to be very careful about that. My thing is when we see it, we need to call it out. We need to highlight it. Not to sit up and create animosity or create a vein of day, but we need to make sure we counter the statement with truth. When you see a falsehood, you just simply state the truth. You don't have to argue about it. You don't have to go in long, you know, drawn out fights with the opposition of the person who said it. Just put the truth out there. When you see the lie, put the truth out there, especially when the lie is aimed at one of yours. The truth will defend itself. But you got to put it out there. And the truth is, the brother never said anything whatsoever to have anything to do with Hitler. So why is his name mentioned in the same sentence with Hitler in the way that it's, it suggests he's promoting uh, promoting uh, a philosophy or a state of thinking or ideology associated with Hitler? That's not the case. And to put it out there is very reckless and irresponsible. And she should actually be uh, reprimanded for that. She should be punished. She's trying to talk about punishing Kanye. He's already been punished. But she should be punished. On that note, look, I'm going to get ready to get out of here. But I had to, uh, I had to uh, address that. Uh, look, again, if you believe in the work we're doing, show some love. Go in the description box. You can see uh, in the description box the ability to support the organization. Uh, via Cash App or via our uh, donation center by simply clicking the link. Uh, and whatever you do, we are going to war. We're coming. As I stated uh, in the previous video, we're going to start phasing out the inspirational content and all of that's going to be on our Dream Matrix page or channel. And we're going to get back to the meat of it. We'll still do the day themes, Monday, Monday, Mondays, because definitely these are things that you need to get into. But most of the content is going to go to the Dream Matrix uh, channel. And there will be a link inside the description box uh, for, for, for everyone who wants to go over there and subscribe. And I suggest you do because personal development is important as well. On that note, look, I'm going to get ready to get out of here. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button, subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. And share that uh, link with as many people as you can. We need to make our people aware. And that's something that we lack is astute awareness. So on that note, I'm out of here. You guys have an unbelievable remainder.